time management both within a semester as well as across your years of graduate school. Um, first, the big picture. I think uh, I think it's easy to um, view graduate school as just a few more years of what you did in your undergrad, and um, and that may even be deceptively true uh, at the beginning. You may take a lot of coursework, and uh, so you're just going to keep succeeding in courses as you ostensibly did in your undergraduate. That's why you're here in grad school. Um, but I think it's important to keep an eye on that long-term goal of doing some original research, um, whether that's your master's uh, project or your PhD thesis. Weekly time management uh, is, is another challenge. Uh, a few people have the opportunity to be involved in, in research projects at the undergraduate level, but that's going to be a, a, bigger, um, a bigger part of your, your schedule is going to be um, split in different ways as a graduate student. You may have a teaching assistant position. You may have a research assistant position. And of course, you have the, the coursework. And then I already talked about uh, you know, your, your thesis project. So uh, you, have, you have all these different competing goals. And uh, it's important to um, make time for, for each of those uh, within each week. Um, if you put on your employee hat and you want to be the best teaching assistant ever, uh, you, you may very well excel at that. Um, but don't let your coursework suffer and don't overlook your research that you need to be getting done. Uh, likewise, don't, um, don't just continue being an undergraduate and say, well, I'm just going to do really good in these courses and um, you know, not be putting in the, the effort that, that you are being paid to uh, as a teaching assistant or a research assistant. So you really need to um, give yourself micro goals or uh, you know, track your schedule on a, on a daily and weekly basis to make sure you're putting in time on all of those different fronts that are important to your success.